hour. It is now 9 p.m. here on the East Coast. And we are tracking another round of potentially deadly tornadoes in the state of Oklahoma. God bless Oklahoma. It was just one week ago, last Monday, that a massive EF5 tornado touched down in the city of Moore, Oklahoma. It's a suburb of Oklahoma City. The Moore tornado killed 24 people. Tonight, that same area in central Oklahoma is hunkering down once again. It's almost impossible to believe. Within the last hour, a mile-wide tornado was reported to have touched down just west of Oklahoma City. There have been reports of overturned vehicles, of downed power lines, as well as damage to a number of structures already in the area. For the last 90 minutes or so, these tornadoes have essentially been traveling eastbound right along one of the major highways in central Oklahoma, right along Interstate 40. That highway has been completely shut down in the Oklahoma City area, and the Oklahoma Highway Patrol has been warning motorists traveling along I-40 to exit the highway and immediately seek shelter. Interstate 40 funnels right into downtown Oklahoma City, and that appears to be the path that these tornadoes have chosen to take tonight. Among the major population centers in the path of the storm uh, is not a city at all. It's Will Rogers World Airport in Oklahoma City. According to the airport's website, more than a thousand passengers at the airport were moved to underground tunnels and shelters inside the airport tonight. All flights in and out of Will Rogers Airport obviously have been canceled. NBC's Janet Shamlian uh, is at the airport, and she reports to us that passengers inside the airport were moved away from the windows. They were told to go underground. They were instructed to put their their hands on their heads. Now, in terms of injuries and, I have to say, potential fatalities, the Associated Press is reporting as of now that a number of motorists along Interstate 40 have been hurt in this storm and that others are either missing or stranded at this hour. Our local affiliate in Oklahoma City, KFOR, K4, uh, is doing an amazing job tonight. Uh, they report thus far that more than 22,000 people in the area uh, are without power. These, they report that these power outages um, extend now to the historic district in the state capitol right in Oklahoma City. But again, the breaking news at this hour is that central Oklahoma is yet again right in the path of another massive storm system tonight. Uh, the storm has already produced a reported tornado just west of Oklahoma City. And within the last hour, a tornado emergency has also been declared for parts of Moore, Oklahoma. And the reason that name is so familiar to you is because Moore is the city that faced a devastating tornado and almost unbelievable destruction just a little bit more than a week ago. I want to bring in MSNBC meteorologist Dylan Dreyer, uh, who's been focusing on this very closely. Dylan, what's the latest on the on the trajectory and where it's heading now? Well, it is right now moving southeast only at about 20 miles per hour. And looking at the radar, you see these boxes that keep popping up. I kept the tornado warning boxes uh, in effect on this radar. So that's what you're seeing flashing across the screen there. And you see just south of Oklahoma City, which at one point was under this tornado warning, you can see there is more Oklahoma. And it has been in and out of these tornado warnings for the last half hour to 45 minutes. And the uh, one that is right over Moore right now that extends east uh, across Cross I-40, which is that highway that was shut down, it is in effect until 8.30. But not only is it uh, for the possibility of these tornadoes that uh, this entire thunderstorm has been producing these tornadoes for the past several hours from that town, El Reno, you see on the uh, left side of the screen there. Mm -hmm. This is how long it's been taking to move to the south and east. It has been a been a very, very slow process. But within these storms, not only do they have the potential of touching down these tornadoes, these funnel clouds, but there are reports of 80 mile per hour wind gusts. Those are your straight line wind gusts. Tennis ball to softball sized hail also reported along with the torrential downpours and the dangerous lightning. So, you know, I watched this develop a couple hours ago, slowly watched it trek across Interstate 40. And it has been in that time that it's become, you know, going from a rural area storm to a much more urban area and hearing that Oklahoma City itself was evacuated and the hotels and the airport with everyone going underground that is what the local meteorologists are advising in terms they, of sorry go ahead sorry they're just saying you have to get underground it's not safe enough with storms these big to just be in an interior room or a bathroom underground is the safest place to be at this moment Dylan in terms of people watching nationally and trying to have their bearings in terms of these various warnings and when they're in effect and everything we should say right now it's 904 p.m. on the east coast it's 804 p.m. local time in Oklahoma City you will hear us give times uh, on the air tonight that are specific to anybody who might be in harm's way uh, 
uh, in the central in the central Oklahoma storm system. Dylan, let me just ask you for your opinion. Talking about the storm system moving so slowly, talking about it traveling at about 20 miles per hour, which is slow for a storm system like this. Does that tell us anything about the eventual damage that it might cause, or anything about the strength of the storm? We're used to uh, we're used to connecting the speed of the storm with strength of the storm when it comes to hurricanes, for example. Right, of course. And you know, the faster it's moving, the faster the winds are in a hurricane situation. But what, what I'm talking about when I say, you know, the, the tornado itself is moving 20 to 30 miles per hour, that's the actual tornado. But the bigger picture is the, the storm that's producing these tornadoes. That's the one that's not moving quite as quickly. So you have, you know, these, this big cloud that produces these tornadoes, and these are moving pretty quickly. But the storm itself that's capable of producing these tornadoes is very very sluggish and it's moving over the same area for a long period of time. This tornado watch is in effect until midnight central time. That's one o'clock East Coast time. That's a long period of time. And these storms have this history of producing the tornadoes as we've seen. And unfortunately, they are under this threat for several more hours. I'm a CBC meteorologist, Dylan Dreyer. I know we will be checking back in with you. Thanks, Dylan. I appreciate it.